Okay, we're gonna do a quick unbox and then we're gonna do some demo stuff. Talk about this a little bit. So this is a, as they call it, a 40 volt cordless jet, bl jet fan blower. Uh, otherwise known as a leaf blower in most circles. But anyways, um, this one it's a brushless motor and supposedly it's built to, it can move uh, 730 cubic feet per minute of air with a max of 190 miles an hour. All right, so anyways, and plus it's supposed to be fairly quiet as they say. So let's start unboxing this and I'll talk as we're doing this. So some people um, say, well, these electric things aren't that great. Rather get a gas one. I know someone who's uh, of that opinion. And it's funny, they're probably gonna give me hell for buying this. Um, but you know what? I uh, run some solar panels and I charge everything solar. So, to me it's like, I can charge this up for free. I don't have to deal with, uh, you know, mixing gas or gas and oil, all that stuff. And the other thing is for family members in the house, I mean, depending on your age and your capabilities, some people have trouble starting uh, gas powered devices because, you know, they can be unpredictable. You have to maintain them a little bit better. You know, stuff like that. So, and believe it or not, what's interesting too, so it's obvious that you would use this, you know, to maybe blow leaves. But we're going to talk about also, once I get into it, you know, what else would you use this for? Like, what? what's the benefit of buying one of these? And right now, actually, as I'm doing this video, I'm up in Canada. It's actually snowy outside. And thinking, well, why would you buy a leaf blower in Canada in the middle of winter? We'll talk about that too. But I'm just getting all the stuff out of here. Now this one does come with uh, two batteries, which is nice. That's what makes them so expensive. The, you know, the actual unit itself, there's not a lot to it. And this is fairly light, like woo. -hoo. And this is another reason if you're older, you know, or I don't mean to, you know, say women or girls or your, you know, older people or whatever. But even for anyone, you know, kids too, you know, I mean, of a reasonable age, you know, it's very light. They can operate it and you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of, you know, high heat uh, muffler exhaust on it. And, you know, so it's something that anyone could use, in my opinion. So that's what I like about it. One of the things, anyway. And then, so let's get in. So you get, I'll just open up one of these. As I say, Biggest expense when you buy these, you can buy them without a battery and which makes it much cheaper to buy, but the batteries, you know what, they're very expensive. That's what makes the price on this somewhat high. I'm not even going to say the price. Oh, and by the way, no one pays me for this stuff. I'm not endorsing, I mean, I have not used this. I'd have to use this for, I don't know, at least a month or ideally probably like a year before I would even say, hey, go out and buy this thing. But I do have their weed whacker um, device that runs on the same battery. It's part of the reason why I got this. This will uh, work on my weed whacker machine too, which I've used for years. It's the 40 volt version also. And you know what? I have a, what a one acre property. I can almost get through the whole, everything I want to do in the yard. So I'll be able to use these on that too. So that'll be great. So it comes with two of these batteries. And this is supposed to be a rapid charger. This is a quick charger. It's supposed to fully charge one of these batteries in like, something like 40 minutes, I think. So this is the unit. These batteries usually have a charge uh, level indicator. Uh, this battery is pretty much uh, dead. So I'm gonna have to charge that uh, before we can continue but pretty straightforward this battery they just slide on like that oh my god uh yeah i wasn't expecting that i just blew stuff off my wall and it wasn't even on high power
Okay, that's a little bit crazy. <laughs> Don't use this in a closed confined area against a wall with pictures or posters because uh, it just blew stuff off my wall. Anyway, so this thing here, so you put this on and it looks like it, oh, it just snaps in. Well, that's nice. So it snaps in and then let's get this off. I just lift up on that tab. So on, if you want it off, lift up on the tab. Okay. Now, it also comes with, if you want to achieve, you know, some serious airflow, basically this is a reducer, uh, in my opinion, or in my mind. I'm not super uh, technical or have all the terms down, but this would be like a reducer. So as the air comes in, it's going to concentrate that air in a sense and actually, you know, focus it. So you'll get some powerful... Uh, some powerful airflow and it just again this nice it just snaps on and it looks like they made this now why I'm not sure why they would do it but there's markings on here you might not be able to see so this one's overall bigger or so this one I'm gonna take this off so you can see it in the light they put markings on here, 160, 175, and 190. And I'm guessing the intention is, is that this one, you'd want to keep this one as, as it is because it has the maximum speed on there. Sorry, there's hair and stuff on here. Um, they give you another one, which obviously this one you can take out. And this one is sort of a shorter one, so it's 160 and 175. And I'm guessing if you wanted, for whatever reason, which I wouldn't do because you have two, this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, this one's for 160 and 175. So honestly, I would just, I would not cut these. I would just leave it as is. And maybe if you want to do something, you know, it has a very wide blow range use this one or just don't have any of these on and just straight out of the pipe right like I don't know why why cut these up but anyways let's get this big unit here I'm kind of a little bit scared to start it in here in this room So it's working pretty good. Oh, and it has a turbo feature. Um, when you have it on, while it's on, I don't want it to be too noisy. While it's on, you can press down this thing and it makes it go faster. Here, I'll do just a quick, maybe you can hear it in the sound. I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. I can't start it in here. The only reason I managed to get away with it last time is because I had the air intake on the bed like this and it was still blowing stuff around so I'm I'm not gonna test in here because it's gonna blow everything off my wall um, but as I was saying actually I'll, I'll test it with it so it doesn't blow a bunch of air I'll put it on the bed here it's the inlet but you can hear the difference in the speed so that's gonna be pretty awesome oh my goodness I am going to hook this up in the summer to like uh, my bicycle or something. I think I'll be able to drive around uh, with this blowing arrow at the back. But anyways, let's go. We'll do some demos uh, and uh, for what we can use this for in the winter. Uh, summer's obvious. Blow leaves. Um, I have a lawn tractor, so each time I uh, cut the grass, I can use this to blow all the grass off the deck. Um, great for cleaning your driveway. I've borrowed the neighbor's gas powered one. This one is, is as powerful as that. I can tell already. Uh, it might even be more powerful. Um, I'll find out. I'll take it over there. And uh, there's a few other interesting things you can use or do with this. And again, easy to use, no gas involved, lightweight, and uh, 
think my wife is going to start using this too. So anyways, let's get into it in a minute. I'll show you some more stuff. Okay, I'm charging up the battery now. It's been plugged in for, I don't know, at the most 20 minutes. It was right dead. There's only one bar. And then uh, we're already just coming up on three. So I'm going to guess, uh, yeah, probably 40 minutes at the most. Okay, so it looks like the battery's fully charged. And I think that was less than 40 minutes. So that's good. We're going to let it cool off a bit. Here we can check the power level. You press this button here. So it's fully charged. Yeah, it's a little bit warm. So I'm gonna let that cool off before I use it. So we recently experienced a snowstorm where, I don't know if you've lived in a cold climate where it gets really, really windy sometimes. If there's even a tiny crack, all the snow comes in your garage doors, if it can get in, makes a big mess. So one of the reasons I got this, uh, to get rid of this snow. So let's try this corner here. So let's try to get rid of all this. Woo wee! Almost lost my camera. I put it on the turbo drive there. It has a turbo button. Oh, I forgot to mention. So. When you're running it, you press that, that's turbo mode. There's actually a lever right on here where you can set it just to stay on without holding the button. So, just so you know. But anyways, let's get at her. That turbo works really good. The snow is pretty sticky, so it's not, it's being a little bit, uh, what, what, what did I say, resistant. But if this was fresh snow, uh, it would come out of here nice. You need to move a can of paint. There you go, you can move some cans of paint too. Anyways, that's a preview. So yeah, the other thing is you could use this to clean off your car in the morning. If you have a nice dusting of snow on there, just grab your uh, battery powered uh, leaf blower and uh, clean the snow off your car. So it's pretty handy. And uh, also, I'll be using it on my motorcycle when I uh, wash it, just to dry it off so I don't have water spots. So I'm looking forward to that in the summer. Anyways, everyone have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.